it's okay. rescue where we took two puppies uh, we finally got the people to surrender the mama so we're gonna go out there and get the mama and then we're gonna fix the mama so that mama can't have any more puppies Dog, which is 
which I happen to agree with her. Know that her puppies are in a good home and uh, they're both fixed. There is a male and a well, actually, I'm sorry, that was two males, so they're both neutered, so they can't reproduce. And now, when I went back and got the mom, we're going to spay her, so she can't reproduce. So not we just took three, possibly more pit bulls that can reproduce out of the equation. So little by little, chip it away. Chip, chip, chip. So here we go again, New Year's Day. Uh, I got an email the other day from a guy whose brother breeds dogs, breeds pits, and uh, he's had two pits in his basement for four or five months. They're about four or five months old. And uh, the brother admitted to me that his brother is feeding them, but that's it. They don't get any attention, and they're pretty much locked up in the basement 24 hours a day. So he, uh, the brother, is actually taking them and surrendering them to us, another uh, backyard breeder who ends up stuck with uh, with dogs that we gotta come to the rescue, literally. I'd say at least once a week we rescue either a puppy or, uh, or a litter of puppies or a puppy that that they've held on to and can't, and can't sell. Like this situation here, I mean, the, the, uh, the brother is telling us that they're about five or six months old, so I mean, they're just sitting in the basement. So this guy's breeding dogs to have them sit in his basement 24 hours a day. I mean, thank God at least he's feeding them, because most of these uh, scumbag backyard breeders don't. That's where I got my boy Nathan from. Nathan and his whole litter were literally being starved, skin and bones, when I rescued them. That guy's lucky I did not just eat out his throat. Gorgeous, gorgeous dogs. <laughs>